Greetings, theists and non-theists. I am the Atheist Paladin, and I want about to talk about um, Nietzsche and uh, and uh, truth. And uh, this is sort of like a response to contrapoints on you know postmodernism and relativism, and trying to seek the truth. And I think what is most interesting about it is that Nietzsche is sort of considered the father of postmodernism. And some of the ideas that he brings up when concerning truth are uh, relevant and should be considered in a way. Um, what Nietzsche does to make his point about truth is that he talks about how language is a metaphor. That language is never entirely accurate about reality that it describes. And one of the instances that he brings it up is uh, bringing up a leaf, right? You have a leaf, and the word leaf that we use describes the concept. So this thing brings the idea of a leaf. But the problem of of a leaf, there's more than one way. As we can see, if you can get a little closer, it's very jagged. Um, it's a big leaf, right? But we got this here. Smaller, thinner, smoother. Uh, its structure and its fine patterns is a little bit different. But what do we call this? We also call this a leaf. And um, that's the problem which Nietzsche says, that, that it's in language. It never fully describes um, what it's talking about. It's always a metaphor. Um, so we get this idea, okay, in your mind, you see this image. First it starts out in your mind as an impulse pattern, right? Then it comes to an instruction for my mouth to produce a certain sound. So I say I'm a certain sound, leaf. And then that sound reaches your ears and it's translated by your ears in a certain way and it produces a certain image back in your mind. So we're going through several stages here of transitioning one metaphor into another in order to commute the idea of leaf. And so in this manner Nietzsche says that even though in seeking this truth and seeking this reality we actually get farther and farther away from it. You know, concepts and ideas evolve over time. They, they, they evolve after generation after generation. This is why philosophy, he says um, today, that um, trying to analyze a language is what's going to be the real breakthrough and a philosophical understanding today. And um, that that's pretty much true because of what he just says because he says that we put a lot of faith we put a lot of uh, confidence and belief in the language and the accuracy of it and really is it's just metaphors it's just metaphors of reality and that way he says the truth is an illusion and so and I tend to agree with that in, in the same sense that truth isn't a thing uh, that exists Truth is nothing more than saying um, that the model that we construct about reality in our mind is identical to, or at least very accurate to, reality. But as Nietzsche points out, language changes, and we put a lot of confidence in these metaphors, and we end up getting further away from truth. Now, my personal belief is, is that um, I think in recognizing this that we should sort of put an anchor on it. And I, I still kind of take the same kind of view that ContraPoint does, is that um, the best that we can do or the, or the good thing we can do about th this problem is that with um, sort of scientific uh, you know, progression, we sort of get further away from being wrong. We never may never capitalize on capital T truth because it's a kid, of course, ultimately an illusion and problem of having a conscious being looking out on reality itself. Um, 
but I think we can get control closer to understanding reality in the way it is. So I thought that was something interesting and in, to share in this discussion. So um, take care, and uh, and remember, rationality is the path to righteousness. <laughs>